Now, from what I understand, the, the heterosexual porn industry and the gay porn industry are very different. Mm -hmm. Do you guys do anything on the gay side or is it just on the straight side? We just, we just produce straight movies. Was there a reason for that? Well, you know, we did have a company called Vivid Man years ago, and it just didn't do great. I think that people looked at us and looked at Vivid as a straight company, and if it's a straight company that's producing porn, it's almost like they're just in it for the money. They're, there's no passion there. So it just, it just didn't do well. I mean, do you feel being in the business for, you said, 30 years? Well, we've had Vivid for 30 years. I've been around longer than that. Right. Do you see things really changing in terms of public perception? And I mean, not really perception, but just the way the public feels about porn in general. Sure. I mean, there's no question that, you know, when, when I started in the business or a little bit before that, people, you know, you wanted to see an adult movie, you had to go to an adult bookstore or you'd go to an adult theater and it was sort of weird and creepy and it was the guy in the overcoat and the hat and that whole thing. Well, video changed everything. Now you could all of a sudden go into your local video store and when, you know, run a, a Disney movie for your kids and run an adult movie for yourself and that sort of opened up the access and that was really the beginning. Video changed everything. Then you started seeing uh, uh, adult movies on TV, whether it was the Spice Network or Playboy, and even though they weren't explicit movies, people were able, in the privacy of their own home, anonymously to click and watch an adult movie. Again, that increased the access. And, and of course, the internet changed everything. 24-7, people have access to every kind of adult movie they could imagine. And people are so much more comfortable with their sexuality now than ever before. Sure, some of it has to do with porn, but it has to do with society in general. I mean, look at Hollywood. Look at how people are marketed to a bank for, for whatever it is, for clothes, for shoes. It's all about sex, and um, that's what works. So I think as a society, we're much more comfortable sexually, sort of moving more towards uh, the way the Europeans view uh, uh, sex than, than you know, the sort of puritanical American. Americans. Where do you see the uh, where do you see the industry in thirty years from now? Well, I mean, I don't know where I see the industry in thirty years from now because you know technology is going to have a lot to do with it, and I think that we're moving to a place where uh, where interaction, direct interaction, immediate interaction is important. I think we see that with the cam business, and, and it's a, a huge business and growing because people want to have access to, that, or they want to be able to communicate directly with girls. So I think that the camming business is an, a business that's super interesting. I think that you're going to, your, your TV is, will just be a monitor and you'll be able to surf around on your TV and, and you, it won't be this sort of walled garden like we see now with movies and just a certain number of movies. You'll be able to, uh, to access anything that you want directly on your TV in the highest quality immediately. You want to interact with a girl, you can do that. You want to be entertained by a movie, you can do that. So, uh, and then I think that you know, the quality is just going to continue to get better and better and better with the cameras. Uh, with the TVs, uh, there's just no no doubt about it. What about in the, in the virtual reality space where you have, you know, goggles you can put on or a special suit you can wear? You know, I don't you know. I think people. I, I think people want to take their clothes off when they watch adult movies. I don't think they want to start putting stuff on. And that's why I've always said that. I just don't think 3D with glasses is ever going to work. Because people want to feel sexy when they watch an adult movie. They don't want to have a, these weird glasses on. So until you see glasses free 3D, which I think is a long ways away, I just don't see that as being realistic and yeah there will be some people and I think you saw it with real touch was, was something that was out there it just didn't it just didn't work it didn't work so um, I think that you know there's two things 
people either want to interact directly or they want to be passive and be entertained. And a good movie with hot girls is going to work forever and ever and ever. I mean, porn has been around since the time of the caveman. You go back and you look in those caves and you look at the hieroglyphics and there's people who are having sex. People will always be intrigued by other people having sex. So our business is going to be around for a long time.